Hey everybody, and welcome back to Sea of Darkness. So you remember at the beginning of the last video when I said that I had a lot of trouble getting this game to download and all that? Well, as it turned out, the trouble didn't end there. Let me explain. At the very end of the last video, I saved right, right here at this point, right? Well, I started to record this next one by walking out here to check everything else out. And as soon as I clicked forward here, boom, the game crashed. And there didn't seem to be any way around this, so after a while, I concluded that it must have been a corrupt download, so I had to re-download the entire game all over again, reinstall everything, replay everything. So I'm hoping that at this point, everything is uh, continuity-wise intact, and that we won't have any more issues. So fingers crossed, right? Let's see, we did the, the knots display. I think I checked that off before I recorded this. Um, this... Can't check that off yet. We've explored the Culture Center, right? What haven't we looked at yet? Wait, maybe I didn't press all these in my second attempt here. Because in my field recording, I was able to check that off. Can't check that off yet. Oh, come on. Nancy, you've looked at everything in here. We, we looked at this too, right? Okay, yeah, we looked at that. Anything here? Oh, this! We haven't looked at this. Okay. I think that was what we need to look at so we can get the snowmobile thing. Alright. Haven't done that. Oh. Only one Ooh. signature? Ouch. Well, maybe I should sign. Oh, okay. We didn't look at this last time. Petition to stop the desecration of our history with six exclamation points. Corrupt business doers Magnus Kjellianson and Dagny Silva want to ruin all that is good about Skiprot's culture by exchanging our sacred way of life for tourist grubby money. Ever since the ship project began, we have seen increasing crowds and a different atmosphere in town, all over a useless hunk of floating wood. Things are changing and our traditions have been thrown to the wayside. The old ways, the good ways, are disappearing too soon. Our ancestors would be ashamed of what we've become. That's why I, Gunner, will always fight to keep everything the same way it's always been. Forever! Sign if you agree. Gunner Tonneson. Well, I think you're kind of alone in this, Gunner, particularly if you're going to capitalize so many words and underline them. Alright, that's probably a character we're going to meet. Um, yeah, I thought I looked at everything here. Oh well. I, I'm sure we can check that off later on. Let's not waste any more time in here. Let's go ahead and head outside and check everything else out. I was going to go over to this building when the game crashed, the one over there, but I'm not sure if we can even go over there. Maybe we have to walk out to here first. I guess not, okay. What about over here? Can we get to any of the other things, or... Is the Culture Center the only place we can go to in the port area? It's looking like it's the only place. Unless this goes... No, that just goes to the crow's nest. Huh, okay. Well, I guess in that case, we can just go directly to the ship now. Maybe we can meet uh, Elizabeth, or Elizabeth. Let's see here. We have to walk here. Alrighty. Is that Elizabeth? Who let you on board? If you're here for the festival, it's cancelled. I know you're a tourist. Oops. We're a town of 300. I am not a tourist. I'm here to investigate. Thanks for setting up that gangway for me, by the way. The gangway was meant for Soren. I didn't know he planned to let strangers on board. Are you with that snake of a woman? Um... I would normally say yes, but I don't think that's the answer that's going to uh, keep me on her good side. It's complicated. If you're after just the gold, I want nothing to do with you. Leave. Wait, I'm not after any treasure. I just want to help find Magnus. I don't know if that was the right thing to say. Magnus? Look, I think we might have gotten off on the wrong foot. <laughs> Maybe I should start over. My name's Nancy. It's really nice to meet you. I'm Elizabeth. I run the Misty Skip pub in town. What do you want with Magnus? Oh, good. So you know him? Hmm. That's a question, isn't it? I thought I knew him. Maybe I was wrong. Hmm. Sounds like they've got a bit of a history. Were you very close with him then? No. 
No, we weren't close. And I want nothing to do with a man. Hmm. Something tells me she's hiding something. Hey, Elizabeth, may I borrow a snowmobile key? Depends. Are you going to steal it? Have you let me borrow it? Not this time. I think I'd have trouble fitting it into my carry-on luggage. Here's the key. We have tourists take them every year. I'm watching you. I'll be watching you. Always use the provided seatbelt. Snow looks soft until you land head first. Sure. What do you think happened to Magnus? The current rumor is that he fell overboard. Do I think he is drowned? Is that what you're asking? Whoa, 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 whoa. Not exactly. I didn't mean it that way. <laughs> I certainly hope so. Some people think he ran off with some old treasure. It may be a coincidence. It may not. Dagny doesn't think it was a coincidence at all. So, you've been talking to the others. Ooh. Just a bit here and there. Even if the treasure were real, Magnus wouldn't be able to find it. He's completely oblivious. To the world. To everything. The man lives in the cabin in the mountains. Too lofty to concern himself with human affairs. Bye-bye. Bless. You know, Elizabeth looks kind of familiar, and I think I know why. She kind of looks like Elizabeth Henstridge from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., the, the girl who plays uh, Gemma Simmons. In fact, she kind of even sounds like her, which is interesting. Hey, what are you doing? Uh-oh. That wasn't a good idea. Okay, let's not do that. Okay, so we got a snowmobile key. That's good. So, I'm just going to look around the ship here to see what we've got going on. Oh, hey! Is this... Okay, that's the gate where we came in. What's that over there? Whale Road? Is that what that says? Looks like this dinghy's in good shape. I wonder who owns it. Whoa, 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 here. I, I don't want to do that quite yet. Let's, uh, let's just look around. I'm just looking around for now. Just trying to get the lay of the land and figure out where I can go and not go. Because I have a feeling we're going to be walking around here a lot. Okay, so this is where we came from. So we walked up here. Okay, can we go up the stairs where she is? That's what I wanted to see originally. Okay, here we go. There's a bunch of stuff here. Hey, check this out. What's this area? Control room? I'm not very much up on ships, so I don't really know what this is called. I guess this is where everything gets... Oh, okay, this is the captain's chamber here. Only Dagny and Magnus have radio keys, apparently. Hmm, okay. Oh, these are, um... The clues we need to solve the sale thing inside um, the culture center. All right. Well, I'll tell you what we'll do. We shall take a picture of this. And ooh, we got our phone. Let's check out what we've got here. We've got Ned as a contact. Awesome. And then our camera. Let's go ahead and take a picture here of this. Man, I'm liking this phone. I think it's the same one we had in Labyrinth of Lies. That's the home button. We got games. Ooh, what is Seeds of Persephone? That's obviously from Labyrinth of Lies, but... Oh, it's one of these games from the, the puzzle toward the end. Awesome. Sweet! Okay, can we set... Th okay, here we go. Here we go. We got... Wow, we got two Labyrinth um, wallpapers. Um, that's from the Shattered Medallion, and that's from Ghost of Thornton Hall. And I guess maybe that we can use a picture we take as a wallpaper there? Okay, tell you what, I'm going to put it on that one. That's nice and serene. Okay, so that's the ring back sound. <laughs> mm. No. I think I'm going to go with the double... No, the drum roll. Okay, classic ringtone. No, that sounds like a real phone. We want a cell phone noise. <laughs> I gotta admit, I was wondering what Never Forget actually was. That kind of sounds weird. And not like weird in a funky way, but like weird in a weird way. No, oh, no, no, no. We're already in a dark place. We don't want a super creepy ringtone. Yeah, we, we should go with that. No, no, no. Let's let's go with this. Turntable sound. There you go. Okay, so this is masts and... Alright. So these are the mast sail sections. Alrighty. 
Turnkey Ledger. Okay, so Magnus and Dagny, as she mentioned, have keys. Alright. So we can't take this thing with us. Can we touch this? Okay, I'm assuming that that's not going to work if there's, like, no key in there or whatever, so... That's kind of useless to us at this point. What does this do? Oh, that's just part of that. Alright, try contacting outside help on the radio. Uh... Radio? I mean, this looks like a radio here, but I can't use it. It's here. Ooh, maps. Hmm, interesting. I'm sure there's going to be a puzzle involving maps later on. This radio looks new, but the key's missing. Okay, so here's the radio. Hmm. This is the snowmobile key, so that is not going to work at all. And it's pretty much going to be useless until we can get a key, so let's not worry about that. And there's a light switch that we can't play with, so that's a bummer. And we can't look at anything here, huh? Oh, hey, check this out. This definitely looks like the original helm. Helm! Someone that was the word. Some of the decorations, though. All right, so is this a puzzle? It looks like it's a puzzle we're going to have to solve at some point. But I'm guessing that that's not now. Okay. So this is where Elizabeth is. What about down here? Oh, hey. Check this out. This, these must be the crew quarters. Explore the captain's quarters. Okay, is this the captain's quarters down in this area? This one looks isolated, so I'm going to assume yes. Or this is the hold. Okay, it says this is the hold. Anything like in Dagny's here? has been doing a little sleuthing of her own. Is that a castle? Hmm. Well, the festival went downright horribly. I'm still scrambling to pick up the pieces. In light of recent events, the town's like a pressure cooker. Even Soren's starting to act weird. I'm keeping my luggage in his office for now, but that might have to change. I've changed my phone password to Scuttlebutt to throw him off in case he gets a little nosy. Saw Gunner with this old thing. Won't let me get a look. Appears to be using it as a tea coaster. Typical Gunner. Maybe it's part of something else. Update. Gunner is taken to call me Minke. Looked it up. It's a type of whale. Cannot wait to get out of this town. Hmm. Fascinating. So... It looks like... Wait a minute. Did I just hear someone walk in? I thought I heard a noise. It sounded weird. Oh well. There's no more things to look at with the barrels. Oh wow. We've got all kinds of things to check out. Man... What is this? Oh, wow. Okay, so we can't go down there, apparently. Interesting. I don't get it. I'm sure it will make sense eventually, though. It won't turn on. Missing batteries, I think. Hmm. Well, I know where we can get some of those. I thought I heard someone come in. Do you guys hear that noise in the background? Maybe that's just an ambient noise. So is that all we can look at in here? Because I don't see any other quick spots. Phone charm! Alright, we got a cannon. Once again, I am playing the bonus edition of the game, so I... Tape? Rope? Oh, these aren't just supplies. This is everything you'd need to kidnap a full-grown man. Oh, interesting. Uh, but yeah, I'm playing the bonus edition of the game, so I will have all the phone charms, I got the games on my phone, and I got some extra content in here as well, so that ought to be fun. Okay, so we've explored the hold. Did that. Still have to do that. Oh, that's right, he's got that mysterious item. Okay, so we need to explore the captain's quarters, which are probably here. Yeah, this definitely looks like a captain's quarters room. Okay, so what have we got here? I think these are Magnus's notes. Each row, column, and diagonal looks exactly contains exactly two of each toy. Okay, so these look like clues for a logic puzzle. I'm sure we'll encounter that soon enough. What's this? Locator. Toy clues. Okay. Okay, we're picking up items, and we'll be probably using them pretty soon. Wow, an antique desk, and it's in pristine condition. <laughs> Time to break it open. All right, let's check this out. I need to figure out the rules being used in each row here. 
Huh. Fill in the three squares to complete the sequence used in each of the rows. Fill in the three squares? Um... Which three squares, though? Can we switch squares? Oh, these three squares! Okay. Alright, so the squares that are not red and yellow. Huh, okay. I'm gonna guess that this is a palindrome, and that's one, two, three, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, four, no, that's not gonna work. Huh. I feel like there's not enough information here, because I'm... I'm gonna assume that the columns don't really matter, it's just rows, like Nancy said. Open the captain's desk. No, no, no. I want this to be five. Or four, sorry. Okay, now let's move on to this one. The thing is, is there any significance to the ones that are yellow and the ones that are red? I feel like we need more clues to this. Oh, okay, so we can change the color. Oh, okay. So this is probably going to be yellow, because these seem to alternate colors so far. So let's clear that. Oh, it clears everything. Okay, we don't want to clear everything. We just want to clear this. Okay, I'm trying to figure out exactly how this would work. Hmm. Wow. Okay, well, let's get a hint here. The rules for filling in the missing squares are seen in each row. So, do we have to use any of the other rows here? I'm, I'm kind of lost. Like, these... Okay, so, like, in this one, these b are both red, but here, these colors are reverse. Like, each color is the opposite of the next one on the next row. So I'm confused as to if that's supposed to correlate with each other or not. Hmm. Let me go to the next hint. The colors and numbers are not related to each other. We kind, of, we kind of figured that. I just feel like we don't have enough information here. I mean... And it's just rows that are important, not, you know, columns or diagonals or anything like that. Huh. See, there's just two numbers as part of a seven number sequence, so I don't get that. Each row has four red and three yellow. Oh, okay. Okay, so that, in other words, this needs to be yellow, and this needs to be red. Okay, so we got the colors down. Now, is there a, a kind of a pattern with how many numbers are in each thing? I noticed that there are three here. Then there are three here, three here, and then... Well, we don't know if there's really going to be three there, ultimately. But there's four here, three, and then three. Yeah, um... Wow, I don't know. The numbers to Oh, the numbers totals! Okay. Okay, so seven... Okay, nine, nine... Okay, this one, I let's see, let's go through this one here. One, two, two, one. So this is, are these nine as well? They look like it. Okay, so they're all nines. So as long as we make these all add to nine, we're good. So this is three. And this is one. And this is one. Okay. See, I was thinking that the positions of the numbers were somehow important. So Dagny's trying to keep a low profile. I wonder if that's why she called me instead of going to the police about Magnus. Hmm. Seriously? Who leaked this? Have you been running your mouth? I hope you realize it's going to take a lot of dough to make this disappear. Santa Fe Gazette? Is that where Dagny's from? Huh, what is this? Lighthouse key, okay. 
Um, I'm going to assume this is Marcus's handwriting. Today my head feels worse than ever. Have not slept in three days. Can't stop thinking about the ship. Toomey and I have moved on board into the captain's quarters. Elizabeth finds it strange, me living amongst the ruins of a dead crew. I can't blame her. Last night I, show, I saw a shadow moving on the ship's deck, just out of the light's reach. Have started keeping Toomey with me for safety. Is Toomey a, a dog, I wonder? Hmm. Midnight thought. What if the treasure isn't on board at all? What if it's somewhere else entirely? This winter is darker than ever. It feels like it may never end. With Lawrence, nothing is a coincidence. He meant for this treasure to be found. Is Lawrence the captain of the original vessel, I'm guessing? I'm getting closer, and the more I uncover, the more scared I am to say anything. I sense that someone is following in my tracks ever so slightly out of sight. I found my journal open on my desk this morning. I always lock it away, and last week I thought I heard someone outside my cabin out in the snow. But when I peeked out, no one was there. I'm not imagining this. It's real. I swear it is. There's no one I, else I can trust, not even Dagny, not even Elizabeth. The town is their cute tourist story, but I alone know, know the truth. Searching for these pieces has been the thread connecting the seams of my life. I found the first when I was a boy, a small button, clearly old and carved with no sense of its belonging. I've never told Elizabeth about any of it. Every weekend my private clients ask me to chart a new course for some new tourist ex destination. They always want to go to the same four dive spots, the same six beachside bars, the same three ports. While I sail, I think of the treasure and I think of Elizabeth. I think of the life she deserves. I can't give her my life, constantly being at sea, constantly on the clock. Something has to change. This treasure is the way out. Aha! So he does know Elizabeth, despite what she's saying. P Poppy's funeral was today. Afterwards, I went to the ship and worked. I know there's an answer buried in Lawrence's breadcrumbs. It's right in front of me. Elizabeth stayed beside me all day, long into the evening. She didn't argue with me, just reached for my hand. I wish I could tell her about the footlocker and the items within it. I didn't know they were her family's when I found them, I suppose. But that's not an excuse for continuing to keep them, is it? Someday I'm going to have to make things right with her. I just hope that when that happens, she can forgive me. At the funeral, my uncle reminded me that my father used to call me Little Thrawn after the famous moody sailor of my childhood sagas. It is written that Thrawn's heart was ever false. Perhaps I, too, am a liar at my core. I miss him so much. Uh, sounds like he's gone through some troubled times lately. Is this a code? Ooh. I'm close to figuring out the lock in my quarters. The combination is tied back to title-sounding death charts. When the locator compass is placed correctly on the chart, four numbers will be visible in the locator's holes. These four numbers will open the lock when in entered in increasing order. I have half the locator now. Tracing some faint markings at the top of the main mast reveal the total sum of all four numbers visible in the locator's holes. That means I still need to find at least two numbers to be able to locate the correct place to put the locator. One number is hidden in Lawrence's antique map on the wall. I need only break this code to see which letters to pin. My search continues for a second number in the other half of the locator. Time is running out. You know what, I'm going to go ahead and take a picture of this because I feel like this will be important later. I bet Magnus was in the middle of solving this. Looks like one of these words is scrambled within each row and column. Interesting. Alright, so this is a word search, basically? Alright, we'll take that on here in the next video, but is that all the journal? It looks like it is. Um... Did that. We did that. Okay, good. Alright, I just want to finish exploring this room first. That's the main thing. We looked at the table, but he mentioned there was a, like a portrait or something with a number on it, or a map, or... What's I this? Think I need to get all the wooden sections pressed down. A puzzle! Alright. We'll do that here in a little bit. Is that all, though? Can, can we look at these pots and stuff? Hourglasses? Nothing? Oh, here we go. Ah, oh, okay, so this is the map. I'm gonna take a picture... whoops. Take a picture of this. There we go. Excellent. And I don't think I can look at this or... Wait a minute. Oh, that's that. Wow. Okay, here's the painting. Or portrait thing. Is that Magnus? I'm going to assume that's Magnus and that's the dog he was talking about. Really happy. Aww. 
I think that's Elizabeth. She looks a little bit different in daylight. Hmm. Interesting that he covered that up. I wonder if there's significance to that. Hmm. That's just the painting. Okay, nothing else that we can seem to look at here. Oh, the bed. We got the bed here. What's that? Oh, a phone charm. Cool, cool. Alright. Nightstand, can we look at that? Doesn't seem like it. We got a chest of drawers here. Clothes. And we got some pins. Alright. An old keyless lock. The trick is to enter a combination from the smallest number to the largest. Okay. Well, we'll still have to figure out what that is. Okay, so we're getting all kinds of puzzles here, which is cool. Well, with the captain's quarters explored, I think we can end the video here. Um, let me go ahead and check that off. Check. Excellent. All right. Can't check that off yet. Oh, okay. Well, we apparently haven't explored the deck yet, so we'll do that in the next video. Thank you guys once again for watching. I'll catch you on the flip side.